Welcome back. I'm sure you've all heard that saying, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Well, a lot of us have been handed a lot of lemons lately. So today we're making lemonade. Here's what you're gonna need to follow along. Lemons, sugar, vodka, water, ice cubes, a glass jar or a bottle, a strainer, and a peeler. And here to help us make something sour into something completely sweet is Shona Jensen. I have to say, Shona, just going through the list of ingredients, I'm very intrigued and a little bit thirsty. <laughs> okay, see, you're my kind of gal, Trace. Um, so <laughs> let me help you with that. First, I have to ask you, have you ever had limoncello? I have had limoncello and I absolutely love it. And by the way, I love your view as well. It's gorgeous over there. And how great is this that we get to do this now in, in my backyard? I mean, I can get used to this. And I actually have to say a shout out to Ikea. Thanks for them because they set me up with this awesome kitchen island so we can do these segments out here whenever the weather's nice. So like, yay for that, right? Absolutely, I think it's great. And whenever we can have a view like that on the show, we need to take advantage of that. So thank you for, uh, for being outside. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the limoncello. I th had a hunch you probably had had it before, but let's make it. It's actually wildly easy to make. And it's one of those fun things. You know, it's almost like how sourdough bread now is so trendy because you have to like take care of it and nurture it a little bit. Well, I'm gonna say limoncello is kind of like that a little bit too, but not nearly as particular as sourdough bread can be. Okay, so what you wanna start off with, like you listed the ingredients, we want a jar that will seal really, really, really tight, and I've already put a bottle of vodka in here. So that's about 750 milliliters or one liter, it all depends where you live. And to start off with, we're going to put the zest of 10 lemons, and all we want is the rind, like the peel. Now, I'm gonna, I suggest to use Meyer lemons. You can use any lemon you want, but Meyer lemons, if you're familiar with them, they're so much sweeter. I want, shouldn't say sweeter, they're less tart, and they rage with flavor. They're so fantastic. And any of the lemons, all you need is the peeler, and it's so easy, just drag the peel across the lemon. I mean, that honestly could not be easier. The tip here is you don't want too much of the white of that pith. If you do get too much of it, if you go too deep into the skin, just, just cut it off, but that's good. So we're just going to dump all 10 lemon worth of the rinds into the jar that has the bottle of vodka. If you happen to be lucky enough to know where to get a neutral grain alcohol, you could use that instead of the vodka, um, but vodka works just great for this. Okay, I just used a spoon to, to uh, dab the lemons to make sure they went under. We close it up. Now here's where you nurture it. You want it airtight and you want to put it somewhere dark and room temperature. So, you know, think of that behind that cupboard or in the basement or something like that. And you want to leave it there sealed. Don't touch it. Don't peek for a week. Okay. Easy enough so far, right? Oh, that's totally easy. But you actually have to, you have yeah. to let that sit for a week? For a full week. No big deal. Just put a reminder in your calendar, you'll remember. And when the full week comes up, the reason is you want that vodka and those lemon rinds and all those lemon oils to all marry together. Then in a week, we're gonna be real quick and we're going to make a simple syrup, which is just boiling sugar and water together till the sugar dissolves. A lot of sugar for this, three cups of sugar, okay? Yes, that's right, three cups of sugar. It's alcohol and it's sweet and it's delicious. Uh, so that takes a lot of sugar and you put it in about the same amount of water that you use. So 750 milliliters like a bottle's worth or a liter, whatever. You let that cool to room temperature and then once that cools, you pour that into the container that holds your vodka and lemon, okay? Then we're gonna seal that up again. We're going to put that back in that cool dark spot, room temperature dark spot, and we're gonna let it sit for two weeks. You have to let it sit that long. The longer it sits, the more delicious it gets. So we're at a three week benchmark now, okay? At that time, you're done. We're going to enjoy it. All you have to do is strain what's in here into a bottle with a funnel. You know, you can use a funnel and a strainer. You just don't want any of the, any of the lemon that's in there. I put those opposite and then you're good. You can enjoy it and you can put it into a full size bottle like this or you know, you can even do two little ones, maybe a gift one of them. That would be a nice thing to give to somebody leave on their doorstep. So you can see it's really, really easy. It's really delicious and then you're gonna store it. Most people like to store it in the fridge because you drink a little teeny bit of it when it's chilled and cold on the patio after dinner. It's fabulous.
You know what, that is totally worth the three week wait to get that perfect yeah. syrup and that perfect limoncello. I'm sold. Right? Yeah, I totally agree. It's not like it's a lot of work, it's just patience. Okay, now this one's really exciting. Like this one's like super exciting. I love lemonade, like I'm, I drink lemonade every day, like people drink orange juice. Okay, for this, quick easy. We need four or five ice cubes, a lemon, two cups of water, and two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna make blender lemonade. Are you ready for this? We're gonna cut a lemon. You just wanna take the ends off of the lemon, okay? And I'm just gonna cut it into a couple of pieces. Now that little white piece that's there in the inside of a lemon, get rid of it. We don't need it for this. If you see any obvious seeds, get rid of those too. And you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna make a cold glass of lemonade by throwing the whole lemon in the blender, including the peel. Ooh, I like this because this sounds easy and I can be a little bit lazy. Yeah, do tell, go on. So, so easy. Four or five ice cubes two cups of water and we're going to do the amount of sugar depends on how how sweet you like it two to three and i'm using a meyer lemon remember so they're less tart so i'm only going to put two because i don't i don't go like for the super duper sweet and we are going to blend this loveliness up okay okay that's it this lemonade is done and ready to be enjoyed are you ready for this now it's Someone's gonna ask, you know, is it pulpy or something like that? If, it, if you blend it enough and you make it super smooth, it's not pulpy at all. It's ready to go. It has a creamy texture to it. But I mean, come on, is that not delicious? Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It yeah, looks delicious. delicious. So just Easy. put one in an Uber and you can send it up to my house. That would be <laughs>